Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to be narrating how I completed the Google Data Analyst Professional Certificate course on Coursera under two days. That's 48 hours. First, let's have an introduction about the course. So this course was live um, in 2021 alongside other courses from Google. The objective was that, okay, without a degree in computer science or any of this field, you should be able to become a data analyst or data scientist or so program managers, product designers in your field by just taking this course and building on top of this knowledge. It's just more or less saying that we are disregarding university degree and focusing on skills. But before I give more details about how you know I took it, let me talk about myself. And it's very important that you understand me. I have a background in statistics, a BSc, and even right in school, I've been freelancing, doing a lot of data analysis work. Today, I'm an experienced data analyst. I've done work as a business intelligence analyst. I worked as a data scientist. I'm Microsoft MVP for business application. I'm also a data management certified professional. All this is to show you that I have quite a number of experience in this field. I know this thing very well. So I'm not a beginner, so you shouldn't put yourself like, okay, I did it in two days, you really to do it in one week it might be different. I have this knowledge, I've mentored and I've taught people on these topics for a lot of time now. Right. But why did I take the course? I used to recommend the course to a lot of people, but I didn't take it. But I just want to take it so that, I mean, I can know more details, I can be able to speak to content, speak to sessions, of those calls and relate that to different learning needs of my mentees. As you can see, this is why I made the attempt to say, okay, let me take this course beyond just recommending it. Let me go ahead, know what the content is all about. I know what the learner should be able to understand or acquire a skill at the end of that course so that I can further support them in their you know, learning journey. Right. So that was my why. How then did I manage to take this course in 24 hours? Again, another assumption here is that I'm very, very committed. So I'm more or less a focused guy. If I want to do something, I put all mental, I put all my effort, everything into it. And I want to prove to people because a lot of people have actually abandoned taking that course. So I know that the place at which they've taken it and they abandoned it, they can't finish it in two days. But let me finish in a record time that can inspire them strong enough to say, let me go back. If they use that same energy to go back, they will push at least at least two, three modules or they might even complete it. Of course, they won't be able to complete it in that same short time. But it's a win for me that a lot of people are actually out there uh, after seeing my tweet on how I completed it, you know, within 48 hours, they've gone back, many of them have now completed it now. Yeah, I'm happy that it's been a motivation for people. When I subscribed, I had seven days free trial before I get charged, so that was fine for me. And the course itself has, that certificate program has eight courses and is estimated to take six months to complete because each course has, some of them takes four weeks to complete like that. Got that deep learning content that you need to internalize. First thing I did was to take an assessment. As you can see right there, there's this assessment score and they are grading for that assessment, the interpretation for it. So if you have like 90 to 100 percent, it shows that you know these things. You can go through the first module, but you can always keep taking the assessment for other modules, other courses, so that I can complete the course. You know? Because it's assumed that you have this knowledge that is being you know, addressed. But if you score lower, there are different recommendations as well. So I took it hard. I wasn't even that. That was 3 a.m. Nigerian time. I wasn't that <laughs> patient. I was just restless. I couldn't sleep. I just picked it up. I took it and had 95%. Oh, okay. Why did I score 100%? I know this thing. But of course, I'm in that threshold so I can go through it. So I know that, okay, yeah, I actually know this thing. Even though I knew these things, I still have to go through the videos. I put them at the speed of 2.0, listening to them, you know, following through, scanning through the resources, just so that I understand. On the average, it took me one hour to finish one course. So I'll go through the videos, then go to the assessment, do the assessment. In fact, I was doing them consecutively for six hours. Yeah, six hours, and I finished six courses for six hours and there are eight so i have to rest my brain could not it got to a point my sixth one i failed you have to the attempt for the course i failed it once but i didn't score up to that 80 percent failed the second one 
because I was just straight out. So I failed the third one, it has to extend for three, uh, for, for 24 hours before I can take it again. Even though I knew I was so stressed out, that was why. So I gave myself a break, let's say a four hours break, then came back, did module two, uh, the, the seventh one, and started the eighth one, which is the capstone project. So we went to the next day, it was already 12 hours now, 24 hours, so I then took the assessment, passed, then completed my, uh, my project, then I was all. Now, uh, for me, because I'm experienced, I know these stuff, I really enjoyed, the, the course is so rich, so it, I took time to even go through some of the videos again and again, you know, and the resources being shared. This course is very perfect for beginners. One thing I however noticed is that people often get lost sometimes, you know, because you just take the courses and you are not trying to build the skill. This is why they have learning resources, things to read and they estimate minutes and hours for them. I would advise that I actually take them. They are very important and serious. And then try to seek application with all these skills. The course is so rich that they even teach about interview, how to approach them, how to negotiate salary, how to prepare your portfolio. What else do you need? So if you take this course, you should be able to convert the knowledge to skill and that is a bit different people complete courses but that doesn't mean they have the skill uh, this is why i'm starting a space session on twitter this very week and my focus will be on each of those modules helping you to realize how you can get the best from that module you've taken it you pass the assignment but do you have the skill from that same module so we'll be talking and people will be sharing the experience so that you can acquire more and get to know more not just what you understood from the course but from collective intelligence what people understood from the course and that will help you to go far so follow me on twitter if you want to be part of that space session so that you can always you know can you can enjoy either contribute or learn from the session this sort of narrates how i went through it you can ask, ask me a question in the comment section, I'm going to respond to you. And also, I had a thread on Twitter as well that shows each of the courses in these modules and how you can just link to them.